it's time to move on to our first speaker who's going to kick things off. Um, his name's uh, Philip Walker. So I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to, to Phil. I know Phil's ready. Um, firstly, it's not on the script, but Phil and I have worked together for um, for a number of years. And so it's a great privilege to introduce uh, a friend and colleague. So Phil is joining us from, um, from England, uh, uh, Bristol, which is the greatest city on earth um, and located in the southwest of um, England. Phil's worked in the sector, uh, cultural sector for over 25 years um, and was initially an artist uh, working in video and performance and installations and is currently the head of cultural services in Gloucester um, and is, uh, has curated a number of exhibitions and created programs in the past, including a small artist that some of you may have heard of called Banksy, who was at Bristol with the Banksy versus Bristol Museum exhibition, which attracted over 300,000 people. Um, and he was part of the project team to develop the award-winning M Shed Museum in Bristol, which has over 700,000 visitors a year. Phil's constantly uh, engaging um, in navigating sorry, extremes and trying to make a difference by connecting people with meaningful cultural experiences. Phil's presentation is called Extremes and How to Survive the 2020s. So Phil, if you're ready, please kick us off. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Hi, everyone. OK, so um, I'm going to talk about, as Zach said, navigating extremes. I'm going to start off with a fairly extreme binge watching that I did at the start of lockdown. So introducing Joe Exotic, the Tiger King. Many of you uh, will have come across Joe and his uh, love interest and uh, um, a story of passion, a Romeo and, Romeo and Juliet style uh, uh, show, um, love, lust, tigers, and even murder. Um, Cara Baskin, um, his love interest, maybe she gets the upper hand. Did, did she feed her, her husband to the tigers? Who knows? You decide. So my first tip is to avoid tigers at all costs. Um, as a way of survival, perhaps uh, Netflix subscription might be good. I don't work for Netflix, but I'm just putting it out there. Um, join 25 million other people who signed up in lockdown. Um, they now have something like 200 million subscribers worldwide. So either subscribe or buy some shares because they're going somewhere. But first, but more seriously, the, the original Tiger King is uh, George King George V. Um, and in 1911, uh, King George went on a on a hunting expedition where something like 66 tigers were shot, a dozen rhinos, um, numerous other beautiful animals. Um, and this was all in the name of trophy hunting. Um, and where do these trophies end up? They end up in museums like um, Bristol Museum and Art Gallery. This one um, is in a beautiful vitrine case. Um, and uh, not long ago, we were challenged by some young people, part of the climate um, change movement saying, well, what are you doing about um, the stories that, that these tigers um, and other animals are, uh, are um, undergoing through, through uh, habitat loss and, and, and trophy hunting. Um, so we changed the displays radically by shrouding all the, all the endangered animals, um, which was one way of taking some kind of action and highlighting the risks around that. So in a museum context, it was nice to be able to respond and museums should always attempt to be relevant and expose those hidden stories. So that's my second tip is expose those stories, those hidden stories. Um, sometimes they hide in plain, plain sight uh, and uh, you'll be well aware of another protest, Black Lives Matters protest, which forced this, um, the issue of Colston, Edward Colston, the slaver, um, who was toppled as part uh, when that protest was in Bristol. He was rolled into the docks. Um, Banksy just had proposed a, a way of comm commemorating this through uh, memorializing the protesters, which I thought was a nice response. Um, and it's led to other things, strange, bizarre things. So a pub which was called Ar Colston Arms after the same traders had to rename itself. So ye olde pubby McDrunk face is the temporary name of the Colston Arms. So take tip two, take action, do something, anything. So talking of pubs, um, one of the things I did in lockdown was build a pub in my shed in my bottom of my garden. The new found out is my local pub. And now the new found in was my lockdown pub, which I went to on a Friday, Saturday night. Um, millions of others did more creative things than that. Um, they built saunas, they did all sorts. I, I learned to bake bread, so learn, learn to bake bread. Um, other people I've heard of speak, learning to speak Latin or Japanese or whatever it is. My daughter made some clappers, did creative things, and we all tried to learn something new. So that's my, my fifth tip. 
Um, like put your hands up if you if you try if you tried and failed to to homeschool effectively absolute disaster i i couldn't couldn't do it my daughter um did better than i did but anyway hopefully she'll be all right we'll get through this i took part for about one one or two sessions of joe wicks could i keep up no joe wicks was the fitness instructor that kept us all going so tip six keep active I'm moving quickly because I've got too many slides, but um, we also had extremes in case of weather. So from the climate change, we've had extreme weather, wettest weather and the nicest spring. Were we able to go there? No. So what did we do? We broke the lockdown. We went to Bournemouth Beach in our millions or thousands anyway. Um, so tip seven, don't add to the mayhem. Um, political extremes happening. Could it come any stranger? Um, or is Kanye West going to be the next president? Who knows? What's Boris got to say? Build. That's his way out of this. I, I don't know if that's the solution, but my, my tip is here is vote. Use your vote. Aristotle, philosopher, said, uh, had a theory of eudaimonia, which was called, which is about balance. So perhaps all of this is about balance. So my way of, uh, uh, is taking inspiration from a philosopher, Sophie Ellis Bexter, who got, gets us out on a Friday night and her tip is about dancing. So if you're not able to go and enjoy um, the music that you, the tickets which I was going to go to next Wednesday for Niall Rogers, um, unfortunately, I, instead I'm just going to have to dance with you guys. So that's it for me. I'm going to take you out with a bit of Niall Rogers. Thank you. Come on, dance, everybody. Thank you very much, Phil. That's it. That's it. Everyone claps from everyone. So on behalf of everyone, thank you, Phil, for your rapid, uh, rapid response to what matters now um, and a whistle stop tour. So thank you very much. Um, and thank you for sticking to time as well. That was, it was really, really cool. So thank you very much for that, Phil.